What's up, YouTube? Pink Reaper here. Um, so what you're seeing here is a video I, I actually recorded. I commentated live, um, but I didn't. I've totally forgot that when I was streaming the other day, uh, my friend Sean turned the gain down super, super low on my microphone, so I came out really, really, really quiet on the video. So I just, I just decided to scrap it. Whatever. We'll, do, I'll just re-record it here and um, re-commentate it. Um, so maybe this time you can actually hear me. Uh, the video was mostly just was a combination of the, me live commentating these matches and then also um, the fact that uh, just showing off that this is what I've been doing rather than playing Pokemon OU recently. This is why I haven't uploaded anything for Pokemon recently for Pokemon OU. Um, for Gen 6, I should say. I've been playing Gen 4. There's a Gen 4 ladder on um, Pokemon Showdown and... Pokemon Go U really hasn't been doing it for me. There's, it's just because they brought, I don't know why, they they decided that certain random Ubers needed to not be Uber anymore. Deoxys, uh, obviously Blaziken. I don't, uh, I guess I can kind of understand Blaziken, but like Deoxys and Genesect, I don't understand whatsoever. Like, why would you bring these two Pokemon back? Uh, and there's also stuff like, um, there's also stuff like, um, what was I gonna say? Um, some of the Gen 5 Pokemon whose name Landorus, Thundorus, um, Tornadus I, or Tornadus, Tornadus T, Tornadus T, uh, or maybe just Tornadus I, I can't remember. Um, so I've just been playing 4th Gen. Uh, unfortunately, the 4th Gen ladder is kind of just new, like super newbie players, like really bad players. Um, as you can see here, I totally just dominated this, um, this other player. Uh, I think I one hit KO this Roser. No, it just survived. Oh yeah, it tries to sludge bomb my scissor. Um, there's going to be a little break here while I'm trying to find a match, and then it doesn't happen. So, um, Gen Four is a lot, a lot different than what you're used to if you've only started with Gen Five or Gen Six. Um, there's no team preview whatsoever. You don't know what your opponent's team is until you've seen any, seen their Pokemon. Um, your lead, like, uh, leads are a dedicated thing in Gen in Gen 4. The first Pokemon on your team is 100% always your lead. That is just how it works. You don't get to choose a Pokemon before you start. That's just how it is. Um, that's why I have Metagross here. Metagross is my dedicated lead. Um, this player right here that you're seeing, DM Sniper, I'd actually played it earlier before I started recording. I spent the entire match kind of talking down about him because he's a really bad player. Um, when I played him last time, he, every single Pokemon on his team was slower than my Breloom. Um, and literally what happened is I spored it, I, foc I focus punched it until it died, and then he switched in another slower Pokemon that got spored and focus punched until it died. This is also what's going to happen in this video, basically. Um, he plays extremely poorly here. Um, and that's kind of the thing right now. The 4th gen ladder is basically just a bunch of newbie players. A lot of players that I assume came from 5th and 6th gen are just trying out 4th gen have never played it before. I ran in, I've ran into a couple legitimate 4th gen players before. Um, and I had some really good matches. I had some really kind of iffy matches too. Like there was one where I almost lost because I missed HP ice on a Gliscor three times in a row. If you're wondering how you can miss hidden power in gen 4, Gliscor has Sand Veil. Sand Veil is legal. 20% evasion. Oh yeah, he rolled that 20% three times in a row. Killed my Infernape. Almost killed my uh, um, Zapdos. I was displeased. I only actually won that match because I totally predicted a um, a Skarmory switch in uh, my with my Breloom. He had a Gliscor out with about 32% HP. My Breloom was at about 50-something. Um, but I could survive anything he threw at me and my... Because it only had... It was a toxic stalling set, so it only had Earthquake. Um, my Seed Bomb would have killed it. His Earthquake wouldn't have killed me. And he didn't want to lose his Gliscor because I still had a, my Zapdos left, which could do some damage. Um, but I knew... So I, I'm just, I just rolled with it. Breloom Focus Punch. No, no protection whatsoever. He switched in his weakened, like, 40%... 48% uh, Skarmory, and it died. And literally, I wouldn't have had a good way to get rid of that Skarmory otherwise. Like, literally, I had nothing else on my team that could have done it. I had, um, uh, like I said, I had Zapdos, but if I couldn't get around, if I couldn't get around the Gliscor, Zapdos couldn't do anything. And if I couldn't get around the Skarmory, my physical attackers couldn't do anything after that. Um, oh, I may mention this video, I'll make it mention of it now. Magneton is actually, it's not common, but it's seen in Gen 4. 
uh, over Magnazone sometimes because Magna Magneton has 10 base speed more than Magnazone. So you can run a modest Magneton with Choice Scarf and it'll be fat. It'll be as fast as Jol or as timid Choice Scarf, um, Magnazone and stronger. Um, Oh yeah, I also make mention of the fact that I get a bunch of one-turn uh, spores when I'm playing Gen 4 for some reason. I never get, like, multi, multi-turn multi spores. At best, I get one extra turn of sleep. I get the spore turn, and then the turn after that. That's the best I usually get. Um, but yeah, Gen 4 is really different, too. There's, there's a lot of, like, there's a lot less retarded abilities. Like, Sturdy does not always leave you with 1 HP when you're at full HP. Um, there's no... There's no, like, Poison Heal Gliscor or stuff like that. There are some Pokemon that have ridiculous abilities, but, like, usually the most powerful ability is, like, Intimidate, and not everything has it. Um, there's no Scald, so Burn is a lot less common. Um, as I mentioned, I mentioned this in the original video right here, Dragonite is actually really common because Salamence is banned. I just exploded on it. I actually could have Meteor Mash Bullet Punched it there, and I probably would have killed it, because it doesn't have Multiscale. Multiscale's not a thing. Um, I also make note in 4th Gen... Um, in fact, I actually want to pause this and go back real quick, right here. Um, very frequently in 4th gen, when there's a double down situation where two Pokemon die at the exact same time, um, generally what will happen is players will go back to the Pokemon that, like, if, like, in this situation where there's very few Pokemon that have been revealed so far, uh, he's only revealed one other Pokemon, and that's Vaporeon, and I haven't revealed anything he's going to go back to Vaporeon because I've already seen it. It won't give up any more information about his team. Um, that's why I switch in Breloom right here. Um, I I expect him to go to, to Vaporeon because I've already seen it. Um, and since it's slower, I knew I could go to Breloom. And he does. Um, I'm actually kind of glad he went to Skarmory here. Um, I was thinking I could I should just substitute on the switch, but I, I was afraid he might try and stay in and ice beam me. Um, and again, I get a one turn um, sleep right here, but he doesn't whirlwind me, so I just I KO it. Um, and then I just put it back to sleep, and I think he switches here. Yeah, he switches to Alexam. Uh, Alexam doesn't have um, Magic Guard, even though it says it right there. Uh, they still list fifth gen abilities. Um, even in 4th gen ladder, uh, and it just dies to one seed bomb. Uh, what's really obvious right here is he goes to Vaporeon, and then he, I knew, knew he's gonna switch. It was, it, he made it too obvious. Um, that was like a little while ago, someone, someone brought in a water type Pokemon against my Zapdos, and it's like, oh, you're totally not gonna go to a Jolteon, and actually he didn't, he went to a, an Electivire, which was hilarious. Um, but he ends up dipping right here after I kill his Toxicroak, I think, yeah. Because his team's basically screwed at this point. He doesn't really have a good answer to Braylon, I assume. Um, but yeah, that was the last battle I did. I, I, I literally I just did all three in a row and I just live commentated them. Because I, I knew I'd probably win and I'd probably win pretty quick. Because, like I said, the ladder's not very good. Um, this will not be a super common thing. I'll still play... I'm, I'm still playing um, Pokebank OU for 6th gen. Um, and I'll still record it. I don't... I don't dislike it as much as, like, say, I disliked 5th gen or anything like that. I'll still play it. Um, but I'm really looking forward to them finally, you know, ironing out that ban list. Um, and I'll probably upload a couple things of 4th gen as well, because I do like 4th gen. I like it quite a bit. Um, I, I, it's still probably my favorite generation. There's still some problems with it. Like I mentioned, Sandvale is kind of a bummer. Um, and it's making me kind of... <laughs> Kind of glad I'm not going to be running into Garchomps, although, honestly, if Garchomp was legal, I'd be running Garchomp too, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, it's cool. My Garchomp would get just as many stupid sand veils. But, um, yeah. Uh, so that's just sort of, you know, an update. Why well, I haven't seen Pokebank OU recently. I haven't really been playing it as much. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching, guys. This has been Pink Reaper, signing out.